Recording artist Kaya Jones is also calling out the music industry. Kaya, who used to be a member of the Pussycat Dolls, she tweeted this weekend, my truth, I wasn't in a girl group, I was in a prostitution ring. Oh, and we happened to sing and be famous while everyone who owned us made the money. We reached out to the founder of the Pussycat Dolls, Robin Anton, and she denies what Kaya is saying. Here with reaction, recording artist Kaya Jones, actress Chasey, uh, Tracy Lindsay Melchior is with us. Kaya, how old were you when you first got into music? I was 12 when I first got signed. Wow. And how yeah. quickly did the Predators begin to move in? Well, I think that's the thing. They didn't move in right away for me. I didn't receive anything until I was 18 years old and I joined the Pussycat Dolls. So I think had I not had a career before that where I knew that there are people with integrity, um, it wouldn't have probably been alarming, but it was super alarming because I had been in the business and never had any advances. And when you say is a prostitution ring, those are strong words. People want to understand this. Oh, well, you know, when you have a den mother from hell that's controlling the girls, manipulating the mind, and verbally and mentally abusive, what's the difference between that and a pimp in order to control the narrative? Um, that's what was done on a day-to-day -day basis by Miss Anton. And furthermore, you know, it, it was a constant thing of being, a, you know, attacked at the back of cars and innuendos by different executives. She knew, and everyone in the group went through it. In other words, you were attacked by those people that had all the power over you, and it was a, on a regular basis. Yeah, and yeah. I had to decide for myself my moral compass. I walked away at 21 years old from a massive conglomerate that was launching us into orbit. How bad could it be for a 21-year-old to walk away from her dreams? Yeah. I, was, I knew I was, walk, I was standing on a limb. Now, Tracy, I, I know you spent years, and, and you are the bold and the beautiful, and, and many of these successful daytime shows, and you had a really, you had a horrific time. Why don't you tell us what happened? Well, first off, I want to be clear, none of my experiences were um, with my producers during soaps. Um, I had lovely producers there. It was prior to that. Um, but the entertainment industry attracts a lot of women who are, looking for validation and approval and, in my case, um, male attention that I didn't get at home from a father. And so you combine that with wealthy men who um, are in a position to advance your career. And I think one of the things I think that's really important is that at that time, I think I had the false idol of fame and fortune. So I was willing to sacrifice and do whatever it took for that. and. It's interesting how people can sense that or something because I was put into so many situations, whereas my friends who uh, maybe weren't as vulnerable seemed to, you know, get around it. But for me, it was I, I fell into situations that um, I was vulnerable to, for sure. And you got raped. I did. Not in Hollywood. That was prior um, at 16. Um, and... I think that what happens is like, I, it doesn't just start when you get to Hollywood. I think a lot of it happens before we get there. Um, to a lot, it's almost like I was groomed prior to getting to Hollywood to be the perfect um, candidate for these producers and directors, which I did end up um, falling victim to. Which I hate that word, victim. But you know, um, it, it, it seems like, that, and I'll ask both of you this. Tracy, we'll start with you. Young girls, and maybe before they're 18, around 18, they have dreams. They want to be in the music industry. They want to be on television. They want to be in the movie industry. Yeah. And the, how common is this, that basically they're told it's a quid pro quo? You want a movie role? You want to get in the band? You want a chance? You got to go through us first. Tracy. For me, it was never that blatant. Um, for was it me, it subtle was just but like, and obvious, though? Well, it was, it was like you knew who could get you a job. You knew who this director was by name. You knew who this producer was. And if they're inviting you to dinner or to something, you're like, oh, my gosh, this is great. Because you're thinking it is regarding your career. And then you or get to just, dinner, and what, do you, what is happening in most cases at dinner? They reveal well, their true times, intentions? Well, honestly, Sean, a lot of these dinners, I wasn't the only girl there. There were many. It was, you know, a flock. And it, it was just um, a selection process, I, I guess. Wow. And um, I think that it was 
it, you were actually flatter, or I was. I think it was like a, a compliment that you were chosen. Um, and I was just so vulnerable for wanting that validation and approval. You wrote a great um, book, by the way, Breaking the, the Perfect Ten about the Ten Commandments and Getting Your Life Back, which I thought was great. Um, Thank Kaya, you. how frequent do they play on the ambitions or the dreams of young mm -hmm. people that you have seen in all the years you've been doing this? Yeah, well, there are good people in this business too, Sean, but ultimately there are a lot of predators in this business. We've heard the stories from Corey Feldman, we've heard the stories from Corey Haim, we've heard, you know, Tom Petty has a song called Joe, talking about, you know, getting a young girl and a young boy and um, making money off of them and controlling them. It is a scary thing. This is what needs to happen, is women need to continue to speak out. Girls in my group, girls in other groups, or in entertainment period, need to speak no. out. Because you can take out the trash right. at that Last point. Question. There are good people, too. Is, are the people mm -hmm. that are creepy well known? Does everybody know? Everybody, at most know. Most if know. It depends on the company. Most know, but mm -hmm. it depends on the company. Not all companies are bad, but there are the select companies that mm -hmm. have men that push things on young girls and it's you know you're impressionable you're you know, a young woman and, i knew and the political side of it is you know like the clintons you know hillary clinton didn't say a word about her husband now she's lecturing us on all these issues and she takes money from these countries that abuse women abuse them Correct. persecute christians right. and jews and kill gays and lesbians and then she mm -hmm. so sanctimoniously will lecture everybody else and and right. accuse mick romney of misogyny because he had right. uh... he had literally resumes of women he wanted to hire that you know slander mm -hmm. him uh... neither one of you deserve that I'm glad you're speaking out, and hopefully this horrible practice stops. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks Sean. Sean.